standalone penumbra coil embolization for type 1 endo leak after EVAR. Endovascular repair has been shown to be a reliable therapy and a viable alternative to open repair for aortic aneurysm in select patients. One of the major concerns with EVAR is the occurrence of endo leaks, which can involve from 10% to 50% of patients. Up to 5% of endo leaks are of type 1. Due to the direct communication of the aneurysm sac with the systemic circulation and its rapid enlargement, proximal endo leak or type 1A must be treated as soon as possible for the considerable risk for aneurysm rupture and late aneurysm related death. Major risk factors for type 1 endo leak are malpositioning or incomplete stent graft dilation, steep aortic angulation and migration. Therapeutic options for type 1 endo leaks are angioplasty or bare stent, extension graft or cuff, endo stapling or anchoring, coil or glue embolization and conversion to open repair. Our case report is a male 80 years old patient who underwent EVAR. A type 1 endo leak was earlier discovered by angio CT and autogram. Through a right femoral approach using a 6 French 45 cm long introducer was placed inside the aortic endoprothesis. The leak entry was reached pulling down a Simmons type 1 catheter, then a 3 French microcatheter was advanced in the sac. Embolization started in the distal opacified lumen and penumbra coils were released under continuous fluoroscopy. Due to the softness and low deflection force of the coils, the microcatheter remained stable at the entrance of the aneurysmatic sac despite the unfavorable femoral approach. The turning point of the embolization procedure is to obtain the dense coils packing near the cranial edge of aortic stent graft carefully avoiding the prolapse of microcatheter and coils inside the endograft true lumen. The softness or low deflection force of penumbra coils can be a decisive factor to avoid pushing back microcatheter and subsequent non-target embolization. Endovascular coiling of type 1 endo leak is not the only available option, but in this way the final result has been achieved through a 6 French introducer with only 26 minutes of total fluoroscopy.